Hi, Christine Anderson. I see you're first up tonight. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, crafters, glad to have you here. Tom Creek with Creek Bank Creations and my wife, lovely, my lovely and darling wife, oh, love it. Uh, Julie Creek, we own Creek Bank Creations in beautiful Perrysville, Indiana, the land of tall corn and not much more. And have we got a fantastic event tonight with this new pop-up card. Hi. Crafters, this is, this is so hot, I'm burning my hands just holding it. I mean, this is cool. Remember, this folds up to an A2 card. And you take it out of the envelope. Check that out. Is that not awesome? Okay, so we're going to be doing that card tonight. Okay. That's not the card we're doing. Whoops, wrong card. Oops, this is a card you can do, but not the card we're doing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the pinks just kind of throw me off. Here, here is the Easter card we're doing tonight. How about that? Is that better? Hey, Marty. Hey, Judy. Check that out. Folds up again like an a, in an A2 envelope. Comes out like that. Pop up. There you go. Um, and pop up, pop out. That's this is this is what we're going to be doing tonight. Here's a couple more examples. Here's a graduation version of that card, which is pretty cool. That's using our new graduation paper. Uh, here is a Christmas card version. I realize Christmas is over, but everybody is still planning. That's a snow card. Well, I guess that's it's a got snow card. gifts and a yeah. Christmas tree. Yeah, you're right. Wouldn't that be a Christmas card? It is. Just seems I'm to me. To you, baby. Just seems to me, Mrs. Just Creek. Fine. Okay. Just so fine. let's talk about the bundle special that we've got going on. Oh, 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 where's the tool? I got to show you the new Father's Day card. Julie made this this afternoon. This is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Toolboxes and tools. Again, folds up. Isn't that neat? Oh, man. What dad wouldn't like that for a Father's Day card? Isn't that cool? Now, she used that in conjunction with her mini tools die, if you're wondering, okay? So, let's talk about the bundle special, okay? This week's bundle, uh, double box pop-up uh, pop bundle special, includes, of course, that double box pop-up die. It includes the spring sentiments for those Easter cards and oh, even Father's Day and Mother's Day. Uh, celebrate sending sunshine. You can do this, and he is risen. So you got you got Easter in there hey, as Tom, well. Yes, dear. Tell him to hit the if they would mind hit the like button. Yes, if you guys would hit the like button, it's got a or thumb give on us it. A thumbs up. At Please all. give us a thumbs up. It really helps us out there if you would. Okay, it includes that stamp, it includes the butterfly die, it includes the brand new Easter edges 0012 die this is a really cool die in there close so you can see it you got your little you got your little chickies your little bunnies your crosses your flowers and your eggs both hatched and unhatched you get a package of our eggs siding mix shaker mix and the freestanding tunnel card nancy drop goat. in die okay nancy goat is here and Mary Beth is here, and Mary Beth had a birthday. Mary Beth, you had a birthday? Happy birthday, Mary Beth. Glad to hear it. Let me guess, you're 39? <laughs> 39, I, th I thought so, I thought so. Now that is an $82.94 value, $83 value. On sale for $58.99, you're gonna save $23.95. Plus, you're gonna get the $2.50 instruction sheet that is not only gonna teach you how to do the box card we're doing tonight, but also, if you remember, the oval stand-up card, well, we also included the freestanding oval drop-in because the freestanding stand-up card that you already have, you see that little oval in there? That drop-in comes in with a bundle. So the instructions are Can also... Can you explain about what the freestanding tunnel card is? This... Did you that this is the freestanding tunnel card. We did this earlier in the year. It comes with the Before we had the drop in, it comes with a rectangle, but we made an oval drop in. But that comes in the bundle, okay? So a lot of you already have the freestanding tunnel card already, so we included in that. And the instructions come to show you how to, to uh, when you buy the bundle, the instructions come to show you how to make this card, okay? As well as this card, plus. You get a copy of Jesus copy in a, a, a 
Jesus coffee and a card for this month too. So you're gonna get all that in the bundle, save 24 bucks for only $58.99. So what else do we have here? Also, uh, for those accessory dies, because there's some accessory dies uh, we didn't include in the bundle, like the toolkit, like the, the waves and grass die, which many of you already have. So we didn't wanna, you have to put you in a position where you're buying two of them. If you still need those, Use the coupon code 2021. It's good until March 7th. You get an additional 15% off. And don't forget, if you buy the bundle, it's going to be shipped free because it's over $50. And all orders over 50 bucks ship for free. Okay, so we've got a lot of cool stuff there. Let's uh, see. Announcements. Yes, indeed. Okay. Also, tonight, Julie is using the plaid stencil, the grass edges die, which many of you already have, and the freestanding tunnel card base. So if you need those, use that coupon code for 15% off. We are going to be at the Indiana Heirloom, excuse me, the Heirloom Indy Show, Danville, Indiana, March 19th and 20th. That's a Friday, Saturday. Parking is free. It's at the Hendricks County Fairgrounds. Can't wait to see you. Uh, Julie, what is that word I have uh, pasted on my laptop right there? Wombat. That's right. Come and see me and say the magic word wombat. See, I couldn't even remember it, so I had to write it down. The magic word wombat, I have something special for you that's only exclusively for our Tuesday Night Live listeners. Something a little special for you, ladies and gentlemen, Secret. if you happen to be out there. Um, uh, and we'd love to see you. And be sure to tell us who you are, because since we talk to you all the time, we don't always recognize your face. So... We're also going to be at the Creative Keepsake Show in St. Louis, which is actually in Collinsville, Illinois, at the Gateway Center. That's April 9th and 10th. Again, that's a Friday-Saturday show. Expecting a really good show there. Can't wait to see you there. And Yvonne is teaching a class using our products, and she is teaching at the Adventures in Stamping Show in Akron, Ohio, April 24th, Saturday, April 24th, from 11 a.m. to 1 a.m. Uh, PM, she's teaching shaker cards. Hold on, where did it go? Do you have some pictures here? Ah, 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 there they are. These are the shaker cards she's going to teach in her class. Can you see that? So be sure to sh sign up. What's Yvonne? It's, what's Yvonne's last name? I always forget. Kinsir. Kinsir? Kinsir. Kinsir. And what's the name of the classes? Do we know? Uh, shaker, birthday shaker cards, and... Yvonne's classes are birthday shaker cards. And then she's also going to do the butterfly tote. Okay, can you see that? Yep. She's going to do that in class as well. That's on Saturday, April 25th from 2 to 4. So be sure to sign up for Yvonne's classes. They ought to be smoking hot. Really good. Um, what is Wombat? Wombat. That is the magic word that you're going to tell Kathy's me asking. when you see me at the show in Indianapolis or in St. Louis, for that matter. And if you or watch, Akron. The or, only, Akron. or Akron, or Akron, the only people who are going to know that word are you folks who watch our live event. It's our free gift to you. And if you come up to me and say, hey, Tom, have an answer. Bombat. Oh, that's the magic word, and I give you a special price. And it's usually something pretty nice. So we'd love to see just you. Just want to say thank you. Yes, just a way of saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, what else do we have to announce, Mrs. Creek? Mrs. Creek has some other details. Also, the Jesus Coffee and the Card is just got finished this morning. Do you have it on there yet, Julie? I do. I was going to talk about it's it. It's already online. Julie's going to talk about it. It is really good. I think you get a lot out of it, especially if you're sharing with your friends and or family and all of the above. So with that, Mrs. Creek, are you ready to rock and roll? Get my computer going. She's ready. She's ready to go here. We're going to get her monitor in place. Get this stuff out of the way. Do you need this? No. Okay. Did you share that graduation card right there? The graduation card right where? Oh, here's the, another graduation card I needed to share with you. Did that. you show them this one? Double box pop up. No, I did not. Oh, and since we're talking about the oval drop-in, I, I failed. There's another really cool Easter card. Isn't that neat? So close. Just in time for Easter. Just a few short weeks away. So with that, here's Julie. You know, um, I can use this. Okay. 
Greetings, crafters. My, that was a lot of information. So, um, lots going on, which is one of the reasons why we have had to adjust our schedule and what we're doing, because my things are changing. So we're just trying to adapt. So tonight will be our last live for a while. I'm sure. Um, we'll be before June. We'll be yeah, we'll be back at some point. I'm not sure. We're just trying to adjust. Um, it is really a full-time job to do the lives. And then it is a full-time job to run Retreat House. And then it is a full-time job to do shows. So we um, really have been overwhelmed with the amount of work that's needed to get done. And it really is just basically Tom and I. We do have um, some kids that help out here and there, but it's a little crazy. So we're trying to make adjustments, I'm trying to get my stuff set here. Now, what I wanted to point out to you was that the um, Easter Edges die. Tom, did you have that out here? Can you uh, hand no, that to no. me? Yeah, yes, you do. It's over in your pile. Over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. And you can take that. The um, Easter Edges die has the chicks, the bunnies, the flowers, the eggs, and the crosses. And I specifically designed that so that you could um, make this as a uh, bunny card or a um, faith-based card. So that cross set is included in the Easter Edges die, um, Edges 012. So that's that. So, let me clear off. We got a big pile of stuff here going. Mr. Creek has cluttered up the desk, which, which is fine. Actually, Mrs. Creek may have done it. Okay, so we are going to do the double box pop-up card tonight. We're going to talk about it. And we do already have a video on the YouTube channel that um, fully explains it. But um, we're going to go over it tonight. I'm going to show you a little fun way that I decorate this Use this uh, stencil on this card, which is a fun little technique. The bundle special, you're going to get the instructions for two cards. And then I include, whenever I do these, any of the ideas that we have in the printing. So when you print it off, you have, there. it's full of ideas. So you can keep the instruction sheet with your die package. And then when you go to use it, you have a whole plethora of ideas because I know it's ideas fun to be inspired so that's that when you order if you order the bundle special you get Jesus coffee and a card for free and Jesus coffee and a card can be ordered individually for only a dollar ninety nine it is a download I will be putting out the Jesus coffee and a card video tomorrow I will also be producing by the end of the week a video to go with the um, oval drop-in so we'll get that done, and then you'll have that video that you can watch too. So I know that um, it's great to have the instructions and the video. So the Jesus Coffee and a Card for March is about Esther and um, about what she did in her day, in her generation, in the midst of a total disaster, and how she saved her nation. So very interesting story in the Bible, the book of Esther, and this is the download that comes with it for such a time as this. We are all alive right now for a reason, for such a time as this. So I will shoot the video on that tomorrow. The download is available and it has the instructions, it has the written information, and then it has this PDF file that you can download, and then there are instructions you on see what, what Lois Back said she's doing? how to make the card. She's I did been not. Keeping all the download instructions in page protectors in a three ring binder. I think that's an excellent idea. Very good idea. Very, very smart, Lois. Okay, so that is um, what is going on. There's we a lot going on around here. Um, so this card I added, I had a little um, collection of um, old um, clock hands. They're actually not old. It was just a bag of clock hands. So if you have any watch parts or clock hands and you do this particular card, you can um, add it to what time the card. It? It's such a time as this. <laughs> 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 I 
All righty. Any questions? So Jesus Coffee in a Card is designed so that you can get together with your friends. You can watch the video and you can do the card and you can talk about the little Bible study. It's a really short Bible study and it's really just meant to be a connection point and for a way for you to reach out to other people. You can invite your friends over and hopefully grow in the Lord and work on building your faith. Yes, uh, we will miss everyone too. Um, we we'll are. Be back here, mm -hmm. you, you, yeah, we're just. We need to. We need to kind of reset things. Of, things in the last few weeks. That Florida trip about did Tom and I both in. Actually, it kind of did both of us in. If we're really truthful. You said. You said both of us. <laughs> Well, I said kind of, and it, Twice. it, it really did. <laughs> Double trouble. So um, doing a show is totally different than doing a live, and so we're just trying to figure everything out, and as we move forward, <clears throat> who knows what's actually going to happen. So we're, we're being flexible, and we we're very thankful for you all. Okay, I think I'm ready to turn the camera down. Anybody have any questions? Don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, yes Christine. Thank you. Thank you, Christine. Yes, hit the like button. No, Lois, we're we're we we're not turned off. We'll be back in um is it June that we go to Stamp Fest? Yes, we we'll be to. back. It's just um juggling two two totally separate things. And it, it, I'll tell you, after a while it just gets uh confusing and overwhelming. Three separate things. We yeah, have three se really three separate we things. Have three times <clears throat> we have we have the retreat houses. Lives, yes. The so order business trust us. There's a lot going on. And the lives and the shows. Oh. And there's just not enough to go around. Yes. So also, if you're if you are local or close in the area and you're interested in visiting our retreat house, River Retreat House, I do have um, the last weekend in March open. I have some openings in April and some openings in June. So River Retreat House, you can find that information on our website or you can email me at creekbc at gmail.com. And we rent for, are you ready for this? This is so stinking. We don't make much money, but we, we make, make a, a lot, lot of friends. friends. $100 for the weekend, Friday through Sunday. We do not provide any meal service. It is a craft house. We also, we also don't house? provide the crafts. You do. <laughs> so, um... We'll be happy to talk to you about that if you're Doris interested. Ask if you will Mill. be doing Jesus Coffee in a Card. I think she missed the part that the latest edition just yeah. I, today. Doris, I just released it today on the download. You can purchase the download, and I will shoot the video tomorrow that goes with it. And tell Doris that yes, Jesus Coffee in a Card is continuing. Jesus Coffee in a Card is continuing, so we will continue that no matter what. Because I really feel like we need a connection. We need to. We we are going to have to work at reestablishing connections. So um, th that's part of the reason I'm doing it. And the other part is, we, um, as evidenced by what we see in the world around us, we need more Jesus. <laughs> so we can do our part, ever so small, to um, get that going. So um, it it uh, it's good for such a time as this. Okay. So. Um, Okay, I'm going to turn the camera down. I think we're good to go. We're going to work on the Easter card tonight. And we are going to, um, I'm going to show you how a really fun and simple way to um, establish that background of the um, card. And I do want to give special thanks to um, Diane Wilcox, who, um, actually both the Dianes, Diane Morse and Diane Wilcox, started messing around with this card uh, last year and messaging me about it. <clears throat> and um, you can make the card without the die. It's just a whole lot of work. So the die just makes that process. I'm going to spin you around, so hang on, a whole lot easier. And making me dizzy, baby. I You're making me dizzy. Cannot, I do not have a screen. You need me to take care of it for you? No. Nope. Hang on. What do we got down there? Are we seeing anything? I see the grid. Okay. I see the, there we go. All right. I see your cock. Ooh, I have a major delay. Mm -hmm. I don't see it here. You're, 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 okay, how, do, how are we looking? You're doing great. You're right on the money. Honey. Right on the money? Can money. you give me a yes or no? You're on the money, honey. In, you in, are uh, on the money, honey. In video land? 
In the video line, you are, I'm telling you, you're on the money, honey. Okay, I'm on the money, honey. Okay, so this um, card is actually really simple to make. It looks really complex and horrible, <laughs> but it's not. It's adorable. So here's what we're going to do. You said it looks complex and horrible? Yes, it's, horrible? it's adorable. It's adorable. It's adorable. We're going to start and we're going to die cut the base. I got to get my goodness, get my goodness out of the package here. The goodness. The goodness. The goodness. You're going to cut the base the and um, you're going to decide like what your base color is and you're going to cut that. And when it cuts it, it's going to score for you. So you're going to fold on the score lines. And we're going to fold this in and this little flap right here, we are going to pull this in and adhere. Before we do that though, we're gonna work on our background, okay? So in this case, we are going to take the die, we're gonna cut this piece, the background piece in white. We're gonna cut two of these rectangle shapes in white, and we're gonna cut two of the long rectangle shapes in white. So what we're going to do tonight is learn how to make our own plaid paper. So I have already cut my shapes. You guys see that screen there? And then, um, so we need two of the tall rectangles. Okay, and we need two shorts. And I am going to take my super tacky tape. Can they see what's going on there? Mm -hmm. Scoot it over a little bit. Okay, so we're going to add a little tape to the background. I'm working on the Creek Bank Creations grid pad. I'm going to line my card up so that it's straight with the grid lines. Push it down in the tape. And I'm going to do the same thing with those rectangles. So if I line those rectangles up with the grid and I know that they're square with the grid, then when I put my stencil over the top and I use those same grid lines, then I will know that everything is lined up. So we're going to line those up and we're going to use the plaid stencil tonight. And I am working with party dress from um, our good friend, Tom's good friend. Do you know her name? Catherine? Tom, Kathy your good Cooler. friend, Catherine. Kathy Let's call her Kathy. So I am going to Talk take... Just call her Kate. Give us some that Kate Cooler ranch, would you? I'm going to take the... We're on a close... We've got okay. Be We're quiet. On a close you can piece. be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> quiet now. I'm going to tape the stencil so that it did, does did we get an invitation for thanksgiving you dinner? you did not no. you did not because you quit you quit ordering from her covid covid came and you're like i'm done with you kathy so i'm going to tape this off just so we don't have any wiggling and then i am going to take creek bank creations j brush j is for julie and we are going to add ink to our project now the j brush is made with an extra large barrel so that it's super easy to hold and it has this band that you can pull up and down. Now for regular stencil work, we're gonna leave it back. If we had detail work, we would pull it up. When we go to close it, we're gonna pull it up and put the lid on. This brush comes unbanded and if you buy six brushes, we're gonna give you a color card so you can put the color code on them. Identify those the brushes. color. The color card is a self-adhesive card. Now, we are going to take our ink and we are going to work that in our stencil. And um, I do like to keep my ink pads rather dry because you end up not getting um, as many brush marks. So is that right? I like to keep them on the dry side. Now, I will tell you, my method is always like the little circle-y thing like I'm doing here. And Mr. Creek's method is the swipey thing. So it doesn't matter which one. You just want to choose one and do one. So I'm going to remove my stencil. Got my stripes and I'm going to turn it the opposite way. Put it back on my project. And again, I'm using the grid line of the grid paper 
to line everything up so that I'm square. I want to make sure I don't have tape on that. And then we're going to go the opposite way. So this is a very simple way to make plaid paper design if you do not own pattern paper. Now I will tell you that in the instructions, Diane used uh, pattern paper. So if you have pattern paper, you can just cut your paper. I just wanted to show you this technique because quite honestly, I love it. I'm, I'm into plaid anyway, and I just love the fact that you can make your own pattern. There we go. So we're gonna pull it over here on our big piece. We're going to do the same thing. I'm gonna line that plaid stencil up with the grid pad, and the grid pad can be found on our website. We are honoring the um, coupon code 2021 until March the 7th. So it is your chance to pick up things that you want <clears throat> with that coupon code. As we get back on the road, we won't be using the coupon code as much. We'll see what happens. More stencil. We're just going to do the same thing. <laughs> and Tom, I had put earlier the link to the blog. It wouldn't be a bad idea if you could drop it back in the chat. Do what? The link to the blog so they can look at the full supply list. The link to the blog. What there. is that? What is that? We can, I, I bet a, the customers could bring for it, Mrs. Yeah, it's www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com. But you need to go get the link because there are links specific to this project. Mm. Do you okay. know? Do you remember how to do that? So we're going to go the opposite way. And you do want to keep this secure. It'll want to wobble on you. See how I've got my hand on it. Holding everything so it's not going anywhere. We're going to go the opposite way. www.creekbankcreations.blogspot.com. Dot 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 okay, you need to... You're not typing that in the chat, are you? No. Okay. Where are you typing? <laughs> I'm in the search engine industry. I'm, okay, well, I'm not totally. Well, I'm not totally. Okay, confused. well, you're acting. Technically, like, yeah, you're okay? acting okay. like you are. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see the double box pop up. Is that the one? I'm yes. Doing? Click on that. Get that link. There you go. There's there's our plaid. Isn't that beautiful? Now, when we go to move it off, we're going to take our undo because undo is going to suspend adhesion on that tape. And then we'll be able to remove that, and we know that our paper won't get tore up. I'm going to leave that one here for now. I'm going to wipe off my stencil. Now, we do have our awesome Wonder Wipe. And I am going to clean this off with the Wonder Wipe and get my stencil all clean. So I just have a little water in the Wonder Wipe. We're just going to wipe that stencil clean. And that won't leave any fibrous residue on my stencil or my stamps. So there we go. Okay. I'm going to have to peel this off because I'm a little bit concerned about the moisture. I am going to keep these guys handy so you can see that we are going to need those. So I'm going to keep those together in that pattern because when I put them on the card, I want that pattern to be the same. So for now, I'm going to keep them there. Now we're going to go with our background and remember how we started with this piece? We're gonna adhere this into the background. Now, when I designed this die, I did not put a score down the middle of this panel because I don't like the heavy fold showing when the card is made. So Diane Wilcox likes that heavy fold and you can score this and fold it if you want to. I just prefer to have a lighter fold on it, and there's no wrong way to do it, but I didn't want to put the fold on there because if you don't want it and it's on there, you can't take it away. If you want to add it, you can. I don't know if that made any sense. We're going to put that right in there. That's our background. 
So this, this die is included in the set. And now when we go to shape the card, you can kind of shape it and get the kind of fold that you want. So we're going to take our flaps. We're going to locate this flap and we are going to add adhesive to that flap. Adhesive. Now we are um, using the Art Institute for this card because the Art Institute liquid, because I just love the good strong adhesion that I get from it. And we do not currently have this available on the website. I've received quite a few email over the last few days um, about that. We do have the bottle bobble on there, but um, until we are past the issue of freezing, which is coming upon us soon. Hopefully it is not on the website because it, it can freeze. So we are going to cut circles. There are two circle dies in the set. Two, count them, one, two. Got to find them. And you'll notice there's a little dot mark in the middle. We're going to fold those, two of those. And we're going to put adhesive. How is everybody doing? We're doing okay? We're doing fine. Yellow Rose is hanging out yes, with us. Is. Okay. We're going to put a little adhesive on here. Both of these. Don't turn them upside down like I just did. And we are going to sit that right in the middle of the card. So we have that middle fold. We're going to put that right on the middle. And push that down. And that... I'm going to pull that up so you can see it, is what we have. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other side. See that close up? Now, when I made the um, dad card today, I put that, I wanted to add another drawer in there. And so I used the long rectangle and I put that in the bottom and so when I put that long drawer in there, I put the double dots down here lower. My compliments on the chrome paper with the wrenches. Thank you. I mean, you. that looks very realistic, Mrs. Craig. All, all about you. You know, I almost made them black because you know what color the tools are in your garage. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's only when I don't wipe them off. Well, and... your tools are loved. Yes, they are. And so used. you're going to take this die... This long, thin rectangle piece. Practice, train those folds, and then put glue on the two outside little pieces there. Little tabs. Little tabs. Little tabs. Uh, little tabs. And then um, we're going to put that on the top. Now, on the top, we're going to put this pink piece. So I kind of like to eyeball where that's going when I stick it on there because we are using liquid glue and make sure we have it in the right place. If we need to adjust it, we can. We're going that way and then you'll see how we have the little pop where the, the um, die cut piece can pop up. Awesome. Now, we're, we're, we're cooking with gas, so they say. Um, we are going to take our yellow cardstock, and we're going to cut it one by six. One by six. I have six. a strip, one by six, okay? And I am going to take the edges, Easter edges die, and we are going to take the little chickadees, and we are going to set them on the edge of this, uh, yes, my little and we're going to die cut it. And that is going to give us that edge. Now, what's interesting about this edge die is it'll cut the top, but it will not cut the bottom edge. So we're just going to put it on that one-inch strip, and we're going to die cut on the Vagabond die cut machine. Now, we need for that die cut to come across there and be the same size as our card. So we are going to take our die. Hang on here. Where are you opening this big piece of paper? Oh, your die. We need, I'm going to take this die. She's going to take that die. Took a brand new die. Took it right out of the package. I mean, that's a brand spanking new. So we're going to 
We use the undo to remove the purple tape because we do not want it tearing up the face don't tear up of the face. cardstock. Don't tear up your face. Please don't tear up your face. Okay. There's our chickadees. Okay. Now, we want our chickadees. We are going to make the chickadees the same length as the stitched rectangle in the background. So I'm going to put this back in the die cut machine. I'm going to lay this on top and I'm going to die cut it. And then it's going to be cut the exact width of our project. Does that, that make sense? sense but the exact width. The exact width. So I don't have to worry about like trimming it with my scissors mm -mm, and, and trimming it wrong. No way. You got it down, Mrs. Creek. I'm and gonna... it's going to give us that little stitched edge, which not that we need it, but I like, it, it? I like the fact that it going, it's going to be cut exactly. But when you have that little stitch edge, it has a little enhancement. It, right? it does. It is an enhancer. Like it's a, it's a fem special. Tom. Special? Tom. Special? It's a female enhancement. A female? Ooh, yeah, I'm sure it is. <laughs> now we're going to take the green cardstock. I like female. And <laughs> we're going to take the grass edges, this um, piece. And we do have our super tacky tape on the back. So we've unrolled the tape, put the paper in the tape. <laughs> and we are going to die cut that right down that edge. I'm going to put it in the middle. I'm going to go in the middle. That'll give me two pieces out of it, a top and a bottom. I just like to tape it because it just keeps it from, in case it wants to do the jig, you know. There's nothing worse than it when it does the jig. You know what I mean? That's right, the jig, baby. The jig. <laughs> Come on, baby. Let's do the jig. Okay. We're going to undo it. And if you do this correctly, that's why I put it down the middle, you'll have a top and a bottom. I'm going to go back over with the stitch rectangle, and that will give me the exact width again. You don't have to do it that way. Just a little tip. My green paper is a little wide. I'm going to trim. So the great thing about it is if you make your super tacky tape paper, I always put my tape on the back of my paper, and then I keep all that paper in a folder. You can build a card like this with scraps that you have. I literally, to make this card, got into my scraps. And I had enough scraps with tape already on the back that I was able to um, have enough pieces to do this card. Now there's my grass. I have two pieces. That's pretty amazing. And I am going to take and lay that right inside that edge. So I'm going to do my grass, and then I'm going to do my chickadee right in there. And you'll see that they're fit, that they're the exact size. So we're going to put that right along that top edge. It's a fun Easter card. Now, I did pre-stamp my titles for today, and I used the um, Spring Sentiments. Do you have that, Tom? Yes. Spring Sentiment stamp. Stick that right in the top edge. And um, we're going to stick that in there. The Spring Sentiment stamp has Celebrate, You Can Do This, Sending Sunshine, Happy Easter, He Is Risen, Happy Mother's Day, Happy Father's Day. And it's included in the bundle. It's included in the bundle. And you can see here how I used Happy Father's Day. Now, um, one thing to note on the Father's Day card, I did not use that little um, beautiful scallop on the top. I took the rectangle from this panel and die cut it and put it up here so that we had a little um, more of a manly look. So you do have lots of options with the spring sentiment set. And that those sentiments fit on the oval stand-up card and the free <clears throat> the freestanding tunnel. Now, in the die set are these long dies. I call these the legs. They look like legs to me. You're going to need to cut two legs. We need two legs. 
We're going to have to go over the bundle special again. Okay. Because several of the tractors. Are, because, that, mm -hmm. because you confuse them? No, ma'am. Because <laughs> they weren't tuned in at the same incorrect time. Okay. Um, I thought I was very clear. Mr. Very, Mr. very clear. Okay, we are going, I have cut two of these on the pink cardstock, and it's going to score and cut for you. So I'm going to lay these flat, and I am going to take my pieces that I made earlier. Remember this? I'm going to undo them from here, and I'm going to transfer them. The large rectangle is going to go on this panel. The small rectangle is going to go on this panel. The, this panel is going to end up being the top. This will end up being the front. So as I, any questions about that? Does that make sense to everybody? Can you give me a yes or no? <clears throat> Amy, I was just picking on Tom. Picky, picky, <laughs> picking. Okay. I'm going to um, un here, un unattach these, undo. I'm going to undo these and adhere them over here. Do you have a question, Tom? I do, Mrs. So Creek. you can do your question. And I'll tell you what, do you want me to turn the camera up? Well, I, or... didn't, I didn't grab a prize. Do you have anything in particular? Um, you usually have a pile over there. Do you have a pile? They keep talking. I'm going to get Okay, out. hold on. Tom's got to go get his prizes. So I think he, tonight he's going to give away like Vagabond or a cuddle bug. Oh, not, it's going to be hard to give away a cuddle bug when they don't make them anymore. Okay, we're going to adhere. He's He left the room, so I can just give away the house tonight. There we go. We're going to add adhesive, and we are going to add the rectangles to the panel. So I am just going to take my undo, undo these off, and move them over. And you can see I don't have to worry about that undo. Messing up my ink, I'm good to go. We are going to work with the, here in a minute, the new um, exciting shake and rattle confetti mix and decorate this with the exciting confetti, which is included in the set. Okay, everybody's following. Thank you guys. Helps when you comment in the chat. You know, this video gets shared and promoted more by YouTube when you all are commenting. So that really helps us. He's giving away the scroll heart die set. Oh, that's a three piece layering set. Nice one. And that one, actually you can flip on the inside of the circle flip card too. Yes, you can even flip it on the inside flip of the it. circle flip card. I did a video about that. Okay, crafters, are you listening? This is not one you're gonna be able to look up on okay, the hold on. Can like you, a lot of you sneaky ones. Can you hear Tom? Can you guys hear Tom? Can you tell us yes or no? Can you hear me? Can ladies, you hear me ladies, 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 crafters of all ages. Ladies and gentlemen, yep. that's awesome. Sharon. Okay. Sharon. All right, crafters. You know it's getting to be close. In just a few weeks, it's going to be spring hunting season. Ha ha ha. And you know what Tom likes to do. Okay. Name the two things that I will be hunting this spring. Two things I'll be hunting this spring. Two things that Tom will be hunting. Now, we are going to decorate our panels, and we are going to cut more grass and add some grass. So we're going to take our die, put that right down the middle again. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have enough? Let's see. Hmm. If I'm careful, I might have enough. Now, I only did the front panels. Diane also did the top. So, we have this grass. What I'm going to do, again, because I want to get that to fit exactly right, I'm going to put the die over the top and die cut it. Just because that'll give me a perfect measurement. And I might not have to cut Judy Retz is the winner! Judy Retz is the winner! Congratulations, Judy. What are you what are you hunting? I will be hold on here. I didn't even know. I will be hunting turkey and mushrooms. <laughs> oh yes, you will. Somebody was saying um, on Facebook the other day that there's some early variety that's already out. Did Ooh. you know that? Uh -uh. I didn't read the article because I didn't have time, but 
Okay, there's my little grass piece. If it starts to pull, we're gonna use a little undo. We're gonna cut a second one. Put it on there. So I'm die cutting tonight with my Vagabond machine. The Vagabond machine that I have on special online. I don't know anything about what Mrs. you're doing. Those are on special for $139.99. Okay, $139. And are you shipping I'm everywhere? Sh I'm shipping it for free. You're shipping it for free. I'm also going to have them at the show in Indy for $139.99. Okay. And we're not, we can't use the coupon code on it, right? No. It's Sorry, already, I'm trying to line up my die. It's at the rock bottom. And it keeps, it keeps, it keeps squitching on me. The bottom is the rock There's nothing bottom. worse than a squitchy die. No, nothing worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got our grass cut exactly to size. And we need some, so we're decorating these panels. We need some bunny rabbits. Bunny rabbits. So we're going to take our paper and we're going to cut this piece of paper 1.75 by 6. Put the lid on this. And we're going to take the bunny edge die. Maybe I'm going to put the lid on it. There we go. And we're going to cut it. So we're just going to line that right up on the edge. So these bunnies are made so that you can make the piece as tall or short as you want to. I'm going to stick that right on the edge. We're going to die cut. And normally, I cut this all ahead of time, but I wanted you guys to see how you can go back over and cut that with that actual die shape and get that nice edge on there. There's my bunnies. I'm going to pull them off, and then we're going to go back. I got them a little crooked. With the rectangle die. over the top actually i think yep i am i'm going to go back over it with the with the die just because it will be precise so you can lay that die on top of the bunnies what is the size for the bottom bunny the bottom bunny is 1.75 by 6 and i've got my super tacky tape on the back And you can see how I've got that over the top, and there's my bunny, and then we're going to do it again. So that just gives you a little, um, you can just cut it and trim it if you want to. Just gives you a different way to do it. And then you can decide where you want your second set of bunnies. And I cut that. And then we're going to layer those pieces up. So you can see how the um, set is so versatile. This is the same set that Diane used when she designed the um, freestanding. That one makes it look like the bunnies are moving. The freestanding oval drop in. Okay, there's our bunnies. We're going to pull that top part off. We're only going to use the inside. And we've got little pieces inside the ears. It and isn't earwax, is it? it? It probably is. And so I always like to pull those pieces out before I stick the project down <laughs> because that gives me control over those little burgers, just like that. So if anybody is in the mood to get out and you're within driving distance to Retreat House, we do have an opening at the end of March. <clears throat> All right, Mary Beth Huddleston has a good question. Yes. Does the size of the bunnies coordinate by cutting and to fit in the slimline window die? In other words, can you trim it down so the bunnies will fit in the slimline window? In the slimline window. 
Oh, I wish I'd have brought those cards that Diane made. I didn't bring them. The answer is yes. <laughs> yes. All right, Beth, the answer is yes. Yes, they look adorable. Diane made cards, and we were going to get to them, and we just didn't get to them. Um, but they, she made little bunny sets. I will post those on Facebook tomorrow so you can, you can see what she did with them. She made an adorable card. So I'm setting those on that bottom edge. I'm going back in and setting my grass on top. There's my grass. And, um, then we're going to go back in and add our confetti. Before we do that, we're going to finish off our, this other, well, actually, I think we'll do it now. Okay, so we're going to add our confetti, right? So um, this is the exciting egg mix. Um, when you buy the confetti, it comes, can you hand me the package, Tom? Yes. It comes in the package that looks like this. This is, when you buy it, this is how it looks. This is included in the bundle. So for the bundle tonight, we are going to be, you're going to get the double box pop-up card, the spring sentiments, the exciting mix, the mini butterflies, which we're going to get to in a minute, the um, Easter edges, and the oval drop-in. I will be doing a video in the next few days on this card which uses that oval drop-in. You have to have the card base for this. This is an addition. So we used the freestanding tunnel card last winter and it came as a rectangle. I'm going to teach you how to take out the rectangle and how to put the oval in. So I'll put out new video for that here in the next few days. So the normal price of this is $82.94. Bundle special price $58.99. And Mr. Creek is going to ship <clears throat> ship it for free. Easy now, free what's new is um, the this mix is new, and we also have um, Morning Mist is new. Oh wait, I don't think we put Morning Mist online. Forget Morning Mist. I didn't mention that. Cookie Monster. There's a few uh, M and M's is new. So this container is new. These containers are, um, I wanted containers with a screw-on lid because I want to be able to travel with it. And this container is 2 by like 1.25. I wanted a big container because I wanted to be able to open it and dig around and get the little pieces out that I want. So the clear containers are on our website. They are only 99 cents or you can pick them up at a trade show. When you, you when you come to shop with us. So I'm going to take my liquid glue and I'm going to put a puddle out on my paper, on my scrap paper. Just get yourself a puddle. And we're going to use the media stick. I'm going to go ahead and adhere my um, confetti mix on. Now the media stick, when you buy it, is actually a five pack. I only have four of them here tonight. But it is a five pack. And they have, um, they're different kinds of heads, straight line, pointy, and, they, and they're used for media. So you can use them in paint and different things, but I love them to move glue around and control glue. So we're going to take the glue and we're just going to pick up a dot and we're going to put it on our project. So this is just a great way to control glue adhesive and adhere your little sequins on very easily. So I'm just going to put some dots of glue on with the media stick. And then I'm going to go back and pick up a few pieces of sequins and stick them on my card. So there's different eggs in this set, and we literally can just pick those up and stick them right into that little dot of adhesive. And you can decide which way you want to have them hanging around. So this set has eggs and little flowers in it, beautiful pink sequins, and it has some very pale pink little iridescent circles in it, and <laughs> it has some pink beads, 
cooperate with me, baby. You just need a little bit of residue left on there to pick up that egg. I see. <laughs> that one's not cooperating. We're going to stick him down. So there's your eggs in the grass. And then we're going to decorate these two panels. We're going to do the same thing. Let me move this up so you can see it. Okay. Now, I'm going to add the little um, flower sequins here, too. So we're just going to add some little dots of glue. And we're going to add the eggs and the sequins. So this is a great shaker mix to put in your shaker cards. And we do have the die cut shaker foam with the windows, the packages that you can buy if you want to make it into a shaker card. So there is the little flower. And we're just going to stick it right on that piece of glue, that little dot of glue. We're going to put some eggs on there. Eggs aren't cooperating with me. There we go. We're going to stick those on. So you can decide how many you want to put on. So this is just a great way to use the shaker mix besides just making a card, a shaker card with it. Now, there are some really tiny um, little beads in this mix, too. So I just think the contain having the container as an option is a great thing because you don't have to worry about it spilling and making a mess. We're going to stick that right down in that. Are you showing your new little... Your new little uh, My little container, which I'm very happy about. I like digging around in the mix and picking out the pieces and I just like having it in that clear container with the screw on lid. Do we sell those? You sell those on your website under the shake and rattle confetti. We also have the media stick if you haven't seen the media stick before. Okay, we're gonna adhere the title piece on and I um, cut this ahead of time and the little scalloped piece comes in the set and I went ahead and stamped the title ahead of time and this is from the um, Cinnamon Spring Cinnamons Happy Easter. We're going to put some adhesive on there. And then when we put adhesive on the card, we're only doing the middle score section of that top piece. Just a little adhesive there. It's just a fun card. Add that on. And we'll kind of let that set. Now we're going to add our... I call these the arms. We're going to add them. We're going to turn this over, and we are going to put adhesive on the top tab, right on that top tab, and we are going to set Do that need top. Do extended cutting uh, plates for that? For that um, the answer is no, but if you want to do it without cussing, <laughs> yes. I messed around with it because I knew we would get asked that question, and technically, it fits on the standard cutting pad, but it annoyed the blah, 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 blah out of me. And so um, it'll probably annoy the blah, blah, blah out of everyone else, too. So I would recommend the extending. You don't have to have it, but I would recommend it. Does that answer your question, Judy? Judy, Judy. Okay, there's my two big, long arms. Now we have this lovely thing here. It is much easier to adhere whatever you're going to adhere down here while the arms are not attached at the base. So we're going to go ahead and glue that other piece on. And you can put accents down here in the case of the um, snow card or Christmas card that Diane made. It's beautiful. She put the gifts down there. And so you can you can do different things with it. This card was made by Yvonne, who was teaching for us. And she put the little gnome on there. So you can get creative with what you do with it. We're going to put glue on the top part of that circle that we folded earlier. And we are going to put that you right... Put the glue on it to make the, the glue dry. <laughs> Was that, were you serious? 
Was that a serious question? I just, I just, just kind of came out. Sorry. It was, were you serious? Okay, no. I, I don't know if that was a serious. Enhanced. Were you, I, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Enhanced drying. You, wait a minute. You haven't answered the, that were you, speed drying, you it? haven't answered the, were you serious? <laughs> I was just kidding. You were serious. I don't know. <laughs> Kathy said the graduation card is stunning in person. The camera doesn't do it justice. I think Kathy Woosley saw it. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Yes, she did a great job, and she used that um, graduation uh, paper pad. So clever. You'll remember always. Graduation day. You going to chiropractor tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> that is the graduation. And she used a little gnome right off the front of the paper pad. Which I thought was very, very clever. And I will tell you that the freestanding tunnel card does use the spring plaid paper, which is not in the bundle. But if you want to throw that in your shopping cart, it is... A very pleasant plaid. We're going to put adhesive on that tab on the very end of our leg. Right there. Not necessary to blow in the ink, please. Yeah, Are there <laughs> on the glue. The glue? Uh, besides that, we you would be spreading germs everywhere. It's in the COVID card. We're no more blowing or huffing going on. Your COVID card. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to set that right in and fold that up and make sure we have a nice straight line there. So again, we're going to fold that around and you can see how that's going to hook right in there. So I'm going to open that up, put the liquid glue. Now I'm using liquid because this card is going to take a lot of bending and folding. And I think the liquid uh, strengthens the card. We're going to go right in there, right on that edge, fold that up. And again, make sure we have straight lines. And if you have the liquid, you'll have a minute to adjust everything. Are your fingers burning? No. Are you yours? smoking hot. <laughs> You're something <laughs> else. Okay. That is your basic card. And you can see the more you bend it, the more um, a defined pop-out you're going to get from it. So you just kind of have to decide how deep of a fold do you want down the center for how much of a pop-out that you have. Now, what I have left is, um, Diane did in the instructions, she decorated the top of this right here. I did not, that's optional. It is included in the instructions. What I have left is to adhere the mini butterflies on this card. Mm -hmm. And this is, they. I cut these from the mini butterfly set. And- I have it right here, are you looking for it? No, uh, well, yeah, I can show it to them. This is included in the bundle, and the great, this is just a little die set. It's got some flowers, the inside of flowers, it's got little leaves, it's got little butterflies. These are great, great little butterflies to add into your collection, and they work well on accenting projects, and they work well with the spiral pop-up project. I have the Aquatini ink sitting here because that's what I stamped with tonight. I didn't say that earlier. Tom, do you have another question? I'm going to glue my butterfly, my little pink butterfly, pink and purple butterflies. I just die cut these, and I am going to um, glue these on with the liquid glue, little dab of liquid glue, and we'll glue them on. Question, Tom? Um, yes, yes. Okay, crafter. That was very good on the, on the hunting questions. Okay. Now then. They're getting to know you. Getting to know you. Question number two. I'm, I think I've got another one of those dies I'll give away too. Name the type of turkey and mushroom I'll be hunting. Now, <laughs> the type of turkey and the mushroom I'll be hunting. Are you going to fix um, turkey and mushrooms for dinner? Hey, that could be awesome. That's what I want to know. Who's, over, who's up for coming over for turkey <laughs> Mushrooms. Live ones. Good, good answer, Amy. <laughs> Tim and Jerry. I think that was Tom and Jerry, wasn't it? <laughs> Who said Tim and Jerry? Uh, Yellow Rose. Hmm. Carla Kennedy, you are on the money, honey. Oh. Carla Kennedy. That's exactly right. 
The morel, and it has to be a tom turkey. That's right. It does? Yes. Specifically a bearded tom turkey. I was going to say, how do you know? Huh? How do you know? Do you, well, you run around and look under them? <laughs> you didn't catch my joke. You didn't even laugh at my joke. It's because I was concentrating on I know. On I quit picking on you. Quit picking on the man. So you can also layer these butterflies. So I'm just kind of layering these up. So you can see that you can have all kinds of fun with the double pop-up card. And the great thing is it's going to fold flat and sit in the A2 card envelope for you. It is a delight. Didn't Carla, didn't, didn't Carla and Judy win last week? Carla and Judy are on they a roll. Are, they on are a roll. really on the trivia question. So that, my friends, is the double box pop-up card. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I'm going to pull the camera up. Are you done? I'm done. That was awesome. Oh, we have to tell them. About the bundle special again because a lot okay, of Okay, so um, I'm going to have Tom come. I, no, I went over it with them. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I went over it while I was talking. I showed him that paper and everything. Would you like to come and say some more? I, Are you sure? Did yes, you, I went you, over did it. Did you show it to them? I showed it to them and everything. Yes. You can go to the website and look up bundle specials on the website, and you will see that bundle special on the website. When you buy the double box pop up bundle special, it's on sale for $58.99. It's going to ship for free. And you're going to get the Jesus, the new uh, Jesus coffee and a card plus the, plus download. Plus $4.50 instruction sheet. Plus the instruction it's sheet. It's savings in excess of $24. It's a savings in excess of $24. Holy cow. Can you believe because it? We, we don't we make much a money, lot of money. But we, we make, make a lot, lot of friends. friends. So, hey, listen, thank you so much. Would you like to come over here with me, Mr. Yes. Creek, and say thank you? We're so glad we had, had this, this time, time together. together. Just to, that was what Carol Burnett used okay, to do. Okay, I didn't know Sorry. that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys remember so, Carol Burnett, didn't she? It's, it's been almost one year. One year? Since we've started this. We've loved you all. Almost a and year. And we appreciate you so, all we're so, so much. It's been awesome, really, to get to know each of you better. And we're not going away permanently. We will be back yeah, intermittently at, at least, over the spring and summer. At least by, at least by <laughs> July. Probably, probably in May. Um, well, that depends on what's going on. It depends on, it depends on, on our schedule. If the shows hold, we won't be doing as many lives just because we can't. <laughs> I can't handle it. You can't I can't it. handle it. I can't handle it. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Cindy, thank you so much. And Mary Beth, it's been so great to we get to know you. We love you all. And and we appreciate you. you so very much. So very thankful. And my encouragement to you is uh, keep reading your Bible. Keep staying connected to the Lord. It is your strength. Yes, he is. May the Lord be with you and keep you. And thanks for joining us. See you.